How would you like to save a ton of time when you're creating content? I know I would. And that's why in this video, I want to show you the coolness that is Riverside, which just happens to be the sponsor of this video. Riverside is an amazing all-in-one production studio online tool. In fact, you can record, you can edit, and you can publish all right there in the Riverside app. Now you can try Riverside for yourself. There's a link down below. And if you use the code Kevin Colby, you can save 15% off your subscription. Yeah, so I just did a video complete. I mean, recorded it, edited it, and published it all inside the Riverside app. And if you want to see that video, there's a link down below, but I thought I would take you inside my Riverside studio to show you exactly how I did it all inside of there. Okay, so this is actually the video that I had edited, and I'll kind of walk you through what a lot of this is. Now, if you haven't edited one yet, obviously it wouldn't look exactly like this, but it automatically transcribes it. So this is the transcription that it generates, Riverside generates from the video that is like crazy accurate. I mean, it misspelled a couple of little different things, like I talk about upbeat music and it only put one P, but you can correct that in here as well. Now, if you really want to edit it easily, you can do it from the transcript. So if you notice this right here, that's kind of has the line through it, and even it says restore right now. I decided that I wanted to cut that out. So when I do that, it literally cuts that out. When you go down here, here's another section that it cut out right there. And this is a great way to cut out like mistakes. Like I, I took this entire uh, section out because I was having a heck of a time just saying the same thing over and over and over and over. And if you notice, I highlight it there and you see it go all the way down here. So for example, here's something else I cut in here. Now this image, if you go all the way over here to images and all I did was type in YouTube and there's the image I used right there. And if I pop it over there, you see, it gives you the option of going full screen. I've already used this, so I'm gonna take it out. But you can also add text over there. So again, I had the option of using this text, but then you also have what they call smart styles. And I use that differently throughout the video as well. So it, what's really cool about this is you have the option of using their royalty-free image or you can upload as well. So like, here's a background I used on something. I'll show you that. And it's already blurred. It's If it's looking weird, it's because I, I blurred it. Um, I actually created this in Adobe Express and then brought it in. But these are different uploads and these are screenshots that I brought in. So like, here's a screenshot of upbeat music. And then I expanded it and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so here's the section where I was talking about different music services. And so like this is upbeat. And if you notice right here, see, I can go in here and I can move that. There's the background that's full screen. And then right over here, if you notice the grids, right, those purple grids, if I can kind of nail it right there, that even tells you where you are in terms of center on the screen. And if you play it, you see that it switches to another one, it switches to another one. And all of that is right there, and those came from my uploads. But I could have also used images here if I wanted to put in like, I think at one point I used uh, music, and yeah, I used the turntable, uh, I think I used the mic or something like that. So you have all of these images as well. And you can do other things like add captions. I decided not to, but you can do that, and you can even affect the layout. And again, that's all done in here. Now, you're not just limited to images as well and text. You can even bring in clips. So like this is a, a clip I did. Actually, I shot this on my iPhone because it was for another video that they were also sponsoring. I added their logo. And you can see that as well. And then I even brought in my affiliate code right there and the link as well. So this was even inserted in the video that I had already edited. Here's another example of kind of stacking an image and a different text. So for example, the image here, I went over to the images and I think I typed in agreement and I came up with this. And for the text, I would just went to text and I think I used this one, but here's what's really cool. When you click on it, you can change a lot of things like the font, you can change the size, you can change the color, and then you can even move it around if you want to as well. And some other things you can do as well, if you go all the way to the top to the magic tools, you can set the pace, which basically decides how much of the gaps you want to take out. And you can already see that's what I've done here. And you can even go in and override that. So there were a couple of times where I actually wanted it a little tighter. Or I decided to take something else out. You can do what they call is take away filler words and then magic audio. And then when you're done and you're ready, you hit export. 
And you see these options here. And what I decided to do, even though I shot it in 1080p, I decided to export it in 4K. And I'm going to choose to normalize the audio levels, which as I understand it means that all the audio, it will be as even as possible. And when I'm done, I hit export and it gives me the option, do I wanna keep editing or do I wanna to go to exports? And then I'm done. Okay, I said I was done. I really am done with the edit part, but you'll get an email telling you that it's ready to export. So you don't have to sit there for a long time. So here's the one I exported. If you go all the way over here, it even gives you some other options of sharing. There's the link. I can go back in and edit it, but right there is the download. And when I click it, it's ready to download. I just usually send it to my desktop. And from there, I can publish it on YouTube or wherever I want to publish it. Hope this helps you create more and share your gifts with the World Wide Web. Check out the videos coming up next. Next, I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching.